Well, hello, everybody, and happy Saturday. It is Saturday, October 14th, 2023 at noon, and this is Lisa Freeman coming to you live from stampingwithlisa.com. And welcome, everybody. I'm so glad you guys are here. I'm just waiting for my computer to just spin in a circle until it gets caught up. <laughs> oh, you guys out of bed and um, up and around? Or are you still in your pajamas laying in bed watching this? <laughs> If I wasn't doing this live, I would still be in my pajamas in bed, but I thought I would get up today, get dressed, and say hello to you guys, because I haven't seen you in a while, so here I am. So hello, everybody. Yes, it is raining in Chesapeake today. It is a gross, gloomy day, a great day to stay in your pajamas and stamp, and um, I hope you will join me for this whole video. We've got a great card today. This one is brought to you by Melanie Foy. So Melanie, um, let me see, this is her card. I don't know if that's backwards in the screen, but this was one of the swap cards from the card swap that we just did. So, oh no, it does show up right. Okay, I'm trying to look at my computer and see what you guys are seeing. <laughs> so this is Mel's card. Um, in the swap, so um, 11 of you guys got this card, plus me, that was 12. So um, if you got this card, this is the one we're making today. This is one of my favorites. There were a lot of favorites in the swap. There were so many gorgeous cards. Um, so um, I picked a few I'm going to be doing um, in the next month or so that, um, I don't know why these comments going across my phone are like all on top of each other so I can't read them um but anyway I picked like about four cards from the swap that I just loved 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 well I loved all of them but these are my like super super favorites and um I'm gonna be doing those so Mel's is the first one and I asked her if I could do it she said sure she was just excited so uh, most of you guys remember Mel was um Spice Girl's best friend so um She's been getting cards out to a lot of you guys who have sent Spice Girl cards before she passed away. And um, so Mel is the one who did it. And she's the one who made this card, which is so cute. And I tried to copy it the best I could. And I think mine came out pretty well. I'm not sure if she's on here. Let me scroll back and look. Let me say hello. Hey, Darlene. Hey, Kathy. Hey, Julie. Hey, Myra. Hey, Debbie. Hey, Francis. Hey, Marva. Hey, Cindy. Um, let's see. Hey, Diane. Hey, Judith. Hey, Mary Ellen. Hey, Jude. Hey, Jean. Let me see. Just finished laundry and walking the dog. In your PJs, Francis. Hey, Wendy. Hey, Jana. Oh, thank you so much. You're in your jammies, too. I know on the West Coast, it's only, what, 8 o'clock? It's early for you guys. Hey, Bobby. Oh, it's raining in Alexandria. My daughter lives right near there in Centerville. Hey, Vicki. Hey, Carol. Hey, Sandra. Hey, Betty. Hey, Luana. All right, we've got a lot of people on here today, so just got out of my PJs. All right, so anyway, I just wanted to pop on and say hello, and this is one of my comfy shirts I got from... What was that company that used to be around that went out of business? Um, LuLaRoe. This is one of my favorite shirts from LuLaRoe. It's like so comfortable. It's like, you know, that soft t-shirt material and it's like so soft and I've worn it a hundred times and the more you wash it, the softer it gets. So um, I've got a great joke for you guys today and I've got some cards to give away and I have a ton of birthday cards that I got in the mail to show you. So I'm going to turn the camera around. Oh, and I have a funny... Who is that? Stoop CM. Hello from Germany. I have a German joke for you too. That's it's just a real funny short one. I'll t I'll tell you that now. So, um, how do you say constipated in German? Some of you guys might have heard this before. I saw this on a <laughs> thing the other day, and I thought it was cute. Uh, anybody know? Far from pooping. <laughs> I thought that was cute. <laughs> so we'll start off with a laugh today. All right, let me uh, get my thing set up. I'm going to turn this around, get this in front, and flip this over if I can find the button. Oh, here we go. All right, so we're going to flip you down. 
There we go. All right, hopefully you guys are centered on there. All right, so here's what we've got today. So I don't know why I have two of these, just so I could take a picture, I guess, but we're making this one. Um, so this was actually Mel's card, and she, I just realized this just like a minute ago, she actually stamped hers in the cherry cobbler, the outside and the inside. I actually did mine in black and then did the cherry cobbler for the inside. And then she had different words. I didn't have these words. I don't know where they were from. So I used um, these words so you can make it as a masculine birthday card. So a lot of the girls at class this week said, oh yeah, that's a great birthday card for a guy. So that's what we're gonna be doing. Um, <clears throat> and let me show you all these cards. Well, let me show you what we're using first. So this is from Perched in a Tree, this right here. And I'm going to show you a trick in case I haven't you haven't seen this before of how to punch these um, dies out because I've got a trick that makes it so much easier. So that's from Perched in a Tree. Um, and then the Trucking Along set comes with the punch, this punch, to punch out the truck. And I'm pretty sure this is available right now. It was on um, back order, not back order, but unavailable forever. So... I'm pretty sure it's available now. All right, so this card is from Diane Eckleberry, one of my downline and my really good friends. And this is um, a napkin card. So this was a hot Halloween napkin. So she turned it into a card, and I thought it was so cute. Oh, Stoopsie said, how do you spell it? Far from pooping? Um, is that what you're talking about? <laughs> Far from pooping. <laughs> I guess that's how you spell it. <laughs> I don't know. <laughs> so I thought this was so cute. An easy, easy card. So this was just a napkin. And she did that um, saran wrap technique that we did. Um, so I thought that was so cute. And then I also got a birthday card from her, which is to die for. So um, if you guys were in the swap, she's the one that did the card swap that had the same flower on it. So it was absolutely gorgeous. So this time she cut it out and stacked it, and I thought it was absolutely gorgeous. And she used that tartan foil paper. I can't remember if that's the name, tartan something. Um, so I thought that was gorgeous, gorgeous. Oh, Vicki, you got your um, card from me yesterday, good. Hey Mel, we were just talking about you. I told everybody this is your card. Um, so, Diane, I love, love, love that card. It's so beautiful. And then my friend Beth Dreyer sent an amazing card. Well, she was actually in class, so she brought it. So, this was her card, which I thought was gorgeous. This was using the paper pumpkin kit from, um, like, six months ago, maybe. That's so absolutely gorgeous. And she just stacked a bunch of these to make them thicker and put a pearl on every single corner so I thought that was absolutely stunning and sprayed it with the shimmer. I don't know if you can see the shimmer all on there. Yeah, that's a, it's a sunflower from the paper pumpkin, not the sunflower from, um, Connie says, you're retelling jokes to your husband and friends. Do I know Jean Robertson? I'm funny like her. No. Does she have a YouTube channel? Cause if she does, I'll go check her out. Um, Oh, thank you, Stoop. Is it Stoopsy or Steps? I think it's probably Stoopsy. S-T-U-P-S-I. I guess that's how you say that. So thank you, Beth, for that gorgeous card. And then I got this one from Bonnie Haystet, which was stunning. Some of these cards I'm getting are just absolutely amazing. It's going to be really, really hard to pick um, a top three favorites because... I'm telling you, these cards are so gorgeous. And they're using all my favorite stuff. I love, love, love this paper and the B set. <clears throat> so, Bonnie, that is a stunning card. Thank you so much. I love it. Let me see the inside. Love it. Oh, it was funny because it came like this. And I was like, well, that's kind of an interesting card. So, <laughs> some people do that. They mail them inside out. And I didn't realize that at first. I'm like, hmm. Okay, that's an interesting card. And she put this on the front. And then I opened it and I was like, oh, there's the card. <laughs> Duh. Okay, that was a dull moment for me. 
All right, next one is from Deb Fitzgerald. So this one is another gorgeous one, and I'm pretty sure this is a napkin. And then she used, I can't remember what the name of that die set is that cuts that, um, but it's gorgeous. And I have it, and I haven't used it yet, but I've seen a bunch of cards lately with it. But um, I'm almost positive that's a napkin underneath, and I love it. So thank you so much for that, Deb. Gorgeous card. And then this one is from, let's see, Julie Ringgold. Julie did um, one of these, uh, what do you call it, lattice cards. I forgot what it's called, lattice cards. So she said she copied my video to make this card, and I thought it was so cute. Love it. I just love, love, love getting happy mail. It's so much fun to go to your mailbox and you find all these cards. And this one is from um, Deb Marcunis. This was a gorgeous card with the daisy set. Gorgeous, gorgeous. And it's embossed. Love it. Love it. Thank you, Deborah. And then this one is, oops. Who is this one from? Amy Davis. Oh, here's another one with that same die. I've got to pull that die out because that is a gorgeous die. And it just is stunning with that paper. Love it. Love it. Thank you so much. Gorgeous card. And she did the flap. I love it when you guys do the flaps because that just is so cute. Gorgeous. These cards are amazing. This one is from Loretta Pearson. And Loretta always does beautiful cards. So thank you, Loretta. I love it. And it's just like, oh, you know what? Oh, no, it doesn't. Okay, I was thinking. I didn't just, I just realized it does that. So you open that and then it's got two flaps. I was thinking it was just one flap, but it's two flaps. Love it. All right, next one is Lori Herschel Roth. And this one is beautiful too. Love it. This has one of our old doilies on it. Gorgeous card. And I love all the sweet notes you guys write. You are just so sweet. You make my day all the time. And this one is gorgeous. This is another um, paper pumpkin kit. I'm pretty sure this is the one that we just got this month, like, um, or last month, September's paper pumpkin kit. So thank you. This one's Julie Simbrick. Thank you, Julie. Love it. And then this one is from Myra Kerger. Love this layout. And it's so cute. Love, love, love watching your videos. Love it. I love this. It's just like so simple, but it's stunning. Love it. Love it, love it. And one more. Last one. Oh, this one's stunning too. I love this paper. And it's supposed to come back in on, um, uh, let me see, in about a week. On the 23rd, they said. So this is a big old card. So thank you. This is Karen Devo. <coughs> love that card so thank you thank you thank you thank you everybody love it so if you want to get in the contest um i said i was going to pick my top three favorites but i tell you what i've already got like 10 favorites so um it's hard to pick just three um oh connie said she was a public speaker she passed away she believed to look for humor every day that's what i do i try to make everybody laugh and you guys are going to die at today's joke it's so funny oh you do, you guys don't get paper pumpkin in germany that stinks i thought they had them over there now let me see uh, 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 okay oh around the bend die that's what it is so that was around the bend die the one that had that where did it go this one this one and the other one that's around the bend die Yes, I have that. I don't know why I haven't used it yet. All right, so don't forget, if you want to um, get in the contest, my birthday's Wednesday, but I'll take some late. That's my address, and you can just send it there. That's where I live, if y'all want to come visit. <laughs> so get a screenshot of that. Um, everybody's doing such a great job. Um, oh, Connie says she's doing my napkin cards with the saran wrap and glitter for wedding cards. Oh, Darlene. It might come today. 
I have, I looked at my UPS or USPS thing. There's like 10 more cards coming today. So I'm sure it'll get here. So it'll be here soon. So don't worry. Um, also, don't forget the sign up special. This special is like the best special Stampin' Up's ever had. Oops, we're not having free shipping anymore. Um, but thank you guys to all of you who ordered with the free shipping. That was amazing. You guys are awesome. So the starter kit, if any of you guys are interested, this is the best deal around right now. You can get $125 of Stampin' Up product for only $64. So that's basically half price. No tax. I mean, no, there is tax. There's no shipping. So it's free shipping. So you only pay $64 plus tax, which is, you know, under $70 pretty much for $125 a product. There's no obligation to do anything else. You can just get the kit, enjoy it if you want to, or you can keep getting the discount by buying um, from yourself. So you can be a hobby demonstrator um, is what they call it, hobby demonstrator or a um, discount shopper. Um, so as long as you keep up the minimum, which is 300 a quarter, so about $100 a month. But the first, when you first sign up, you have that rest of that quarter plus the rest, the, the next full quarter. So if you sign up now, you have till the end of March to get that $300. Um, or the other choice is you can get um, $168.75 in product for $99 and free shipping. So two ways you can get the kit. One is um, really cheap. One's a little bit for the regular price, but you get extra stuff. So you either get 35% off the kit or you get 35% more product with the kit. So great deal for the whole month. You can do that. I'd love for you to sign up under me. The funny thing is I have three people that have emailed me and said, oh, I loved that. That starter kit was such a great deal. I just signed up with so-and-so. <laughs> and I'm like, why are you telling me that? <laughs> of course, I want you to sign up with me. But I understand if you have a friend or something that you sign up under them, that's okay. But it just is funny because I'm like, they're so excited and they say, I signed up under my friend so-and-so. And I'm like, okay. <laughs> but I would love for you to sign up under me if you don't already have a demonstrator. So, um, But I don't want to steal you from anybody else. So don't do that. All right. And then don't forget the kit for actually, what's today? The, the 14th. So tomorrow's last day. You can get this card kit um, in the mail from me in about a week. Um, I'll have to cut them all and everything. So this is the kit right now, the card kit. You'll get everything to make this except for the stamps. So you'll have to stamp the stuff yourself, but it's not that much stamping. Um, but I'll send you all the paper and stuff and the ribbons and the gems. And then that's if your order is $50 or more and you use the host code. And then if it's $100 or more, you'll get this pack of gems. If it's $150, you'll get this. So all of that goodies. Don't forget the host code, though, unless your order's over $150 uh, or $150 or more. Because if it's $150 or more, then you get the host benefits. All right, we're ready to go. So here is my tip for this card. So let me put it back. Let me read comments before I start. Hold on. Oh, ha thank you, Heather. <laughs> Mel says, your sweet husband woke you up to say Lisa. <laughs> Lisa's live. Couldn't miss it. You just woke up? <laughs> I thought I slept. I slept till 930 this morning. I thought I was sleeping in late. But uh, Mel, you're sleeping really late because it's, it's what? Oh, it's about 10, 10, 18 at where you, I think you're two hours behind me. Um... Around the bend die. Oh, isn't that what we said around the bend? Did we say something else? I forget. Okay, so around the bend die. Jalen says, I would sign up under you if you lived in the USA. Well, I wish you did. A kidnapping for the starter kit. But you know, Patricia, they really don't care, I don't think. But Because most people who buy the kit end up ordering anyway. So you can order the kit and never do anything else. I've had people do that, but uh, actually I've had people do that four or five times, but, <laughs> but they, they, they expect most people who sign up and get the kit will event, you know, order some more stuff and get the discount. So most people don't do that. All right. So it's five and a half by eight and a half mossy meadow, but you know, I did that one time with pampered chef and man, they sent me like nasty notes nonstop about being a kidnapper. And I was like, wow, 
I felt kind of bad. <clears throat> All right, so you need three pieces of very vanilla that are five and a quarter by four. One is die cut and two are plain. So here's the two plain, here's the die cut. <clears throat> so what I did was I put a dryer sheet underneath. So you put a dryer sheet, then you put your paper, then you put your die, and then you just run it through. So the only thing you do di different is you add this dryer sheet under your paper. And then when you go to peel it, look what happens. It all comes off. So all the pieces, it doesn't make a mess. Because if you don't do that, you will find these pieces all over your floor. So this just peels all the pieces off and they stick to the dryer sheet. And then you have your perfect die cut. Is that like the greatest thing ever? So I did a whole bunch of these and didn't make a mess all over my kitchen floor. So Because I do mine in the kitchen. Alright, so then it comes right off on there and just sticks right to it. And then you just throw it, out of, throw it away. Um, all right, so that's the third one that's die cut. And then this is for the words. You've got three quarters by three and a half and one half by three and a quarter for the two words. So, and you need a scrap of vanilla. So we'll just put that right there. And you need a scrap of mellow, mossy meadow. I was gonna say mellow moss. <laughs> we used to have a mellow moss. That was really pretty color. Yes, unused dryer sheet, yes. A new dryer sheet. So I just bought a pack of dryer sheets from Dollar Tree and or Dollar and a Quarter Tree and then rip them in half because you know they're really big. They're like this big. So if you rip it in half you get two two out of one dryer sheet. Well you didn't get the dryer sheet to work when you did your swaps? Huh. I don't know why because um are you putting it under the paper? Like you put the dryer sheet, then your paper, then your die, and then you sandwich that between the two plates. I don't know why it wouldn't work, because it works great. But you have to use new dryer sheets, not used. No, it's definitely brand new. So all your cards will smell good too. They'll be nice and fresh. <laughs> All right, hopefully you got a screenshot of that. And we're gonna start. All right, so this is what we're gonna do first. We're gonna stamp our truck on this little piece. So this is just a scrap of vanilla. I'm gonna start with black. And this is memento black. And hopefully I don't get it on myself. Now, since this is photopolymer, you should have a cushion underneath to make a better thing, but I'm using a stack of paper, so that's just like a cushion. So I'm just gonna stamp this right there. So there's my truck. I'm gonna stamp my little words, Farm Fresh, on the side, right in the little door, like that. And then I'm gonna do my tires, and the tires are always the hardest thing for me to see for some reason. I gotta put my glasses on and get these straight. All right, let's see if I can do it from an angle. It's easier when you're looking right above it, but I'm kind of looking from the side, so I think I got it. Oh, perfect! What do you know? Okay, so there's my little truck. Now we're gonna add some um, red. And so I asked Mel when she did her card, I'm like, how did you get your card to be so like um, soft looking? Because it's like, it almost looks watercolored. It's so soft. And she goes, oh, my pad was really dry. So I got a dry pad. <laughs> so mine should come out pretty dry looking too. So if, if you don't have a dry pad, just stamp off. Because I liked it lighter. So this should be pretty light. So line this up. It's another one that's hard to get perfect. You gotta have a steady hand. There you go. Now see, if you have a light pad, it comes out like that. I just love it. Um, or if you stamp off, it should do about the same thing. And then we're gonna do our, so I'm gonna, done with the um, truck. We're gonna punch that out in a second and I'm gonna stamp my words. So these words come from that set that has the wolf and the, um, the bear. And something else. I can't remember the name of it. But I know it's got the wolf and 
I'm pretty sure it's the bear. So sending birthday wishes. This is a dry pad too, this mossy meadow. And then I've got this little one. I forget where this one's from. This is just the inside. I was just looking for something to put on the inside. So I just grabbed this cause it was sitting there. So we're just gonna stamp that on the inside. So there we go. So we're done with all that. So we're gonna punch out our truck and I should have stamped it on the other side of the paper. So just um, get it right there in the center and pop it out. And now this circle, because again, I was like, Mel, where'd that pumpkin come from? I looked all over, I couldn't find it. And she goes, oh, I just used the circle. And I was like, okay, because hers came out so cute. So she has a little pumpkin here. I was like, where'd you get the pumpkin? She said, I just used the circle. So mine is not as cute as hers. I'm not talented about cutting um, pumpkins into real looking things. So my pumpkin didn't come out quite as cute as hers, but we're gonna get a piece of scrap paper and sponge our stuff. So we just need this one sheet. We're gonna start with the green at the bottom. And this is garden green. That was the green that we already used was cherry cobbler. I mean the green, the red. The red was cherry cobbler, the green was mossy meadow. So now we're gonna use garden green and hmm. oh Verna says some of us are allergic to fragrance, horrid headache. Well, you can get unscented dryer sheets. I'm almost positive they have unscented dryer sheets. All right, so we're gonna do the bottom, like uh, maybe almost a third, maybe a fourth to a third with the garden green. This pad's not super juicy either. So there's our green, maybe just a touch more green. So I was at work all day yesterday. We were slammed again, it was crazy. And so I think I told you guys, you know, I had this girl quit. So I put in the, I posted the position and that was a week and a half ago. So far, not one single person has applied. <laughs> I'm just like, I can't believe people just don't want to work. And we, we pay really well where I work. It's not like a cheapo job. I mean, it pays really well, but it is a hard job. All right. So this is, what is this one? Um, crushed curry. So crushed curry on top of, and I like to blend on top of it so they kind of mix together a little bit. So we're doing crushed curry and garden green. And you can do it as light or as dark as you want. And just overlap it so they blend together a little bit. Forgot to tap off on that one. <clears throat> okay, next color. Oops. Got my finger right in that. Now I have a yellow fingernail. All right, so that was crushed curry. Now we're going to pumpkin pie. I'm using all my old pads. I saved my old pads for sponging. I don't know why I think they sponge better. And then the new ones are always so juicy. All right, let me turn this around. So this is pumpkin pie. So whenever you have like a sunset, you want it, pumpkin pie is always a good color and crushed curry. And cherry cobbler is not one I would typically use for a sunset, but it came out really pretty because it's a dry pad. So it came out more pink than red. Because normally I would use like a pinkier color but since it was dry, it did come out pink. And then overlap that just a little bit so it blends in. All right, so that's pumpkin pie, crushed curry, and garden green. Now we're going back to cherry cobbler. And this one is pretty dry, so it comes out pink more pink than red. And I got a blotch there, but we're gonna get rid of that. 
just put more and go down so it overlaps. I'm just going to go down a little bit here just put a little bit of that pink in with that. Love this. Love this card. All right. So there we go. So then check and see what it looks like through your um, trees. And this is exactly the same size. The trees on top of the paper, they're the same. I think I want a little bit more red. Just a little bit. All right, that should be good. And get that red all mixed up. And get it coming down in there. Look how pretty that is. Oh, just love it, love it. Oh, I forgot my pumpkin. Okay, let's go back and do the pumpkin real quick. So, pumpkin's gonna be yellow and orange. Let me get these two back out. So the crushed curry. And this is so little, you can try and hold it with something, but I'm just gonna tap it. So I'm putting yellow and then I'm gonna put some orange. get it the color you want it now if you have like something to hold it you can just hold it and do it rub it but I think that's pretty good maybe just a tiny bit there we go all right so then we're gonna put everything together so the pumpkin we need to cut it and I like I said I'm not really good at cutting a pumpkin out but I'm just gonna trim it into like a little indentation here and um, put the stem up. So it kind of looks more like a heart. <laughs> Nobody will notice. All right, then I have this little piece of green. This is the mossy meadow. So I'll just cut a piece out like that that's kind of crooked. And that's gonna go right under there for your stem. So it'll look like a pumpkin now. So we're just gonna glue that together with a little bit of tape. So we got a little pumpkin. See, that's close enough to a pumpkin. You'll know what it is. There you go. Isn't that cute? All right, so then these two go together like this. And so you're just gonna put your glue on the back. Let me see if I got any comments. Oh, Cheryl. Hey, Cheryl. You're so talented. Just love to watch your videos and listen to your laugh. Oh, you're so sweet. Oh, yeah. Don't forget to do thumbs up if you're watching. Love, love, love that card. Well, thanks, Mel. Oh, thanks. Thank Mel for the card because she's the one who made it. I just copied it. So that's one thing you can do. You know, all my videos, you can just copy the card. You don't even have to think up a card. So you guys can make this card. It's super easy. Just put little dabs on the trees. So some of you guys, you know, you, you did the swap and you didn't get everybody's card. So I'm gonna try and do a few of them on the video so then you can make them yourself. Or even if you did get the card, you might wanna know how to make it. So, all right, so I've got glue. I'm gonna put a little bit right here. All around the side. So we're gonna put that right on top and line it up. It should be exactly the same. And press it down. You wanna cut them exactly the same so you don't have anything showing. <clears throat> All right, and then this one gets glued to the front of the card. And So beautiful. Love it. Love it. Love it. Love that sunset. And you can do this for any card. You know, you don't have to put the truck there. If you want to put like the deer or, um, you know, anything in front of this, you can. 
All right, and then we're gonna put this on the inside. Oops. I keep thinking about that joke for today. <laughs> I was practicing before the video. <laughs> Cause you kind of have to talk a little funny to say it. All right, and these two go together. And all right, we've up to 58 thumbs up. We've still got twice as many people watching. So make sure if you're watching, you do a thumbs up real quick. Uh, unless you're on YouTube or something and you can't, you can go back later. Oops, just did that crooked. Okay. And I smeared it. Oh. Dang. Not doing good with that one. All right, wipe it all over my shirt. Um, let's see, we've got some dimensionals. We're gonna put this on with, oh, got a piece of hair. Can't afford to lose any more of that. My hair's already thin enough. <laughs> it just keeps falling out. <laughs> All right, and then some on the back of our truck. Are y'all like that? You fix your hair in the morning and you're just watching like, as you run your fingers through your hair, like they're all falling out all over the place. I don't know why my hair is just falling out so bad. All right, so then we're just gonna put this one down first. This guy yesterday came in and he had this cough and I said, well, what are we seeing you for? And he goes, I just had this cough for like three weeks and I can't get rid of it. And um, I said, well, have you taken anything? He said, yeah, I've been taking some rubber tussin. <laughs> said rubber tussin. <laughs> is that a new medicine I haven't heard of? Rubber tussin. <laughs> Some people just crack me up. <laughs> uh, all right. So then we're going to set this truck right on top. And like it's sitting on the words, kind of. And... Then we're just gonna stick this pumpkin right on down in there and I'm just gonna put it on with the glue dot. Um, here we go. I don't wanna use glue because that'll make a mess. All right, so we've got a little glue dot. We're just gonna tuck it in here like that. So it's sticking out of the back. And then, of course, you know what we have to do next. We have to shimmer it. So this is the shimmer spray. And when you do it, it just makes the colors pop out so much more and gives it that gorgeous. Now you can really see where I smeared the words though. But I um, oh, just love it. So there you go, folks. Gorgeous card. Thank you, Mel, for doing that card for the swap so we could all copy it now. Love it. All right, so you guys ready for a joke? Very funny, but at least we know what rubber tussin is. <laughs> I know it. Um, you blame your thin hair on ratting? It's so much in the 60s. What is ratting? I never heard that before. I think mine is like hormonal. I don't know. It just falls out all the time. Oh, thank you, Jalen. You're so sweet. Okay, let me see. Let me read just a few comments and I'm going to do the joke. Somebody said that the dryer sheet would dull the cutting of the dye. No, I have never found that to be true. In fact, if I do it without the dryer sheet, it doesn't get all the pieces out. So I think the dryer sheet um, actually makes the dye work better. So, um... Speaking of dry pads, is it okay to buy new refills if the pads are old? Yes, you can use the new refills in the old pads. You just can't use the old refills in the new pads. So if you have um, new pads, don't use... I threw all of my old refills away because that's a totally different kind of ink. But you can use the new ink refills in the old pads. But not the other way around. Um, let's see. Okay, I think I got almost every buddy's questions. All right, so let me get the joke for you. Here we go. All right, this is really funny. <laughs> I 
All right, an elderly man wants a job, but the foreman won't hire him until he passes a little math test. Here's your first question, says the foreman. Without using numbers, represent the number nine. Without numbers, the old man said, that's easy. So he proceeds to draw three trees. What's this, the boss asks. Have you no brain? The man says, well, tree plus tree plus tree makes nine, says the old man. Fair enough, says the boss. Here's your second question. Use the same rules, but this time the number is 99. The man stares into space for a while, then picks up the picture that he has drawn and makes a smudge on each tree and hands it back. The boss scratches his head and says, how on earth did you get that to represent 99? And the man says, well, each of the trees is dirty now. So it's a dirty three, dirty tree plus dirty tree plus dirty tree. <laughs> that makes 99. <laughs> All right. Last question, says the boss. Same rules again, but represent the number 100. <clears throat> the old man stares into space again. He then picks up the picture, makes a little mark at the base of each tree, and hands it back. The boss looks at the man's picture, and he said, You must be nuts if you think this represents 100. The old man leans forward and points to the marks at the base of each tree and whispers, Well, a little dog came along and pooped by each tree. Now you got dirty tree and a turd, dirty tree and a turd, plus dirty tree and a turd makes a hundred. <laughs> it's really hard to say that. <laughs> I had to keep practicing because I couldn't say dirty tree. <laughs> I kept wanting to say dirty three. But I thought that was so funny. <laughs> I found that online last night while I was laying in bed. And I was like, that's got to be my joke for today. So I hope you guys enjoyed that. And I think you're... Um, your husbands will like that too. Those of you who share these with your husband. Um, so I hope you liked that one. All of a sudden it got blurry on here. Um, okay, so I've got a bunch of cards to give away. So let me scoot these over and get out my little pad. Alrighty, so why am I blurry? I don't know. Am I blurry to you guys or just me? Um, yes, COVID. Yep, COVID. That could be it too, because I have heard that you lose your hair with COVID. And I just got over COVID. Um, watch her lemon pound cake. Oh, what was the name of that lady again? You told me that looked or acted like me. I got to write that down somewhere. All right, who wants to win a card today? We have five cards to give away so let's go um i think jaylen we're gonna give you one you've been awfully um chatty today so thank you so much i don't know what your first name is but we're gonna do jaylen i think you said you don't live in the united states but that's okay anyway so we'll give you this nice christmas card and let me see. Oh, hey, Valerie. I didn't even see you on here. How you guys doing? Cheryl. You know what, Cheryl? I have a card for you, too. But I don't have your address. So you need to send me your address. And also, Sharon Miller. I have a card for you from last time. So make sure you guys send me your address, too. Wait a minute. Let me get my email out. Stampgirl2 at Cox.net. That's where you send me your address. Some of you guys like post it in a comment or something, and then I don't see it for like a week. Um, and Mel, I'm going to send you a card because we used your card today. So you are going to get a card. I'm going to give you this Christmas card right there. And let me see. Oh, I'm spinning around in a circle. We call her Ha Ha Lady. <laughs> uh oh. You're welcome. All right, we've got three more cards. Who is going to get one today? Let me see. Who put a lot of comments on here? One. 
Verna Lap. We're going to give you one. Winner is Verna Lap. So send me your address, Ver Verna. And that's, that's one of my favorite cards that we made a few months ago. Um, let me see. Who else put a bunch of comments on here? Um, Heather Cole from the UK. We'll give you a card. Heather Cole. All right, I've got one more card. And this is a fun fold one. I need to do that fun fold again. All right, let me see. Connie Davison. We'll give you one too. Connie Davison. All right, so there you go. So congrats to all the winners. Make sure you send me your address, stampgirl2 at cox.net. And Sharon, I've got one from the other day for you too. And I think Cheryl, I'm almost sure I've got a card that's sitting there for with your name on it, too. <clears throat> All right, you guys, I hope you loved the card today that Mel made in the swap. I love it. And um, next time is, is a new card kit. So today or tomorrow is the last day to get this card kit if you want to place an order. And a lot of you guys have already gotten this. I think I've already gotten like 25 or 30 card kits I got to cut. So thank you for all those orders. And you guys enjoy the rest of your weekend. I'll be back on Tuesday night with another video. So come join me then. And, uh, oh, ratting is teasing it up to poof it up. Oh, I've never done that before with my hair. My mother used to do that. Man, she had like a beehive. She would tease her hair up like a foot. All right, you guys, have a great weekend. I'll see you on Tuesday night. Take care, everybody. And uh, don't forget to do thumbs up, like, share, comment, all that good stuff for me. And I will um, see you in a few days. Bye-bye.